Hey guys, and welcome back. And in this video, we're just going to keep going and just working on the high poly version of our robot now that we've kind of modeled everything. So let's just go ahead and jump in. So here we are. And what we'll be doing is just kind of fixing some of the pieces right here that we have. And just to get started on what I want to fix, let's just go into these pieces right here and let's just take a look. Right now we have an end gone, so we need to fix that. But more importantly, if I bring this over to the front face kind of side, they're pushed kind of like in, and we want them to actually be a little bit more out. Like so. Something like that. Just so that it helps with the shape. And as I was looking at this, I kind of realized I could probably fix this topology here. So what I'm going to do instead, I'm just going to start connecting these pieces. And I'm going to push these two way up, like, uh, let's say around there. I'm going to do the same over here. There we go. And let me just grab these right here. Let me see what this looks like in the front view. Yeah, let me push this up a little bit. Let's say around there. Let's look at the other one while we're at it. Yeah, let's put this up too. Let's say around... I'll say around there. All right, so let's just fix this one down here before we kind of start doing anything else. So one of the things we can fix is just removing these right here. I'm going to go to X, Dissolve Edge, and then I'm going to press K for the knife tool and just bring this into around, let's say, yeah, let's say there. I'm going to grab these right here of the edge I'm going to drag them down a little bit, just to kind of match the shape. There we go. So they match the shape of kind of like this line flow we got going right here. And then I'm going to connect this, let's say right here. I'm going to connect that right there. Move it up. Let's, let's put it right there. And then let's bring this one up. That around there is pretty good. And so what I'm basically doing is I'm just kind of pushing the vertices or the flow of our... Oh, yeah, the flow of our flow. I don't know. I'm just basically making it so that it kind of flows out instead of flowing in. And kind of pinching. I'm going to grab these right here. And I'm just going to use the edge bevel width, but then just bring it to negative one. So it just turns off. And then that way we have a more clean kind of geometry. And what I can do from here is I actually don't really want this right here. I think I'm going to just delete it or dissolve it and then use the actual edges right here as a bevel. There we go. And let's just use the edge bevel weight. And there we go. It's already looking a lot better. So let's just go in here, use a knife tool again, just to make the little middle area right here. And we'll dissolve that. There we go. And if anything, I just need to close out this little area right here. There we go. And I can start doing basically the same over here now. So I'm going to go in here. There we go. And I'm just going to make sure I kind of select the frame right there. So that way it focuses right there. I'm just going to bevel. And let's put it to around, let's say around there, that should be fine. And then what I want to do from here is start kind of just connecting pieces together. And I want to start making some areas that will kind of make up the same lines that we had down here.
And I think from here, it's going to add another one. Let's put it right there. And what we'll do from here then is start kind of making the same cutouts that we had before on the bottom piece, like so. I'm going to grab these and just merge them over to here. Let me make sure this is all one piece. Yeah, it is. So that's fine. And then I'm going to do a connection over to here, like that. There we go. And then let's connect this one right here so that we can grab these, bring them down a little bit. We can dissolve these two edges. And then we can kind of start making our shape. So what I'm going to start doing is make that same cut up here. And let's put it around there. I'll close it off at about that kind of point, just so it all kind of flows in the same area. And I'll start connecting these like so. But then I'll make that same cut right there that we've been using that kind of triangle on the points right here. And then this will just kind of connect around over here and that'll be it. So now what we need to do here is just kind of fix our topology on the inside now. And I think if I remember, I did not close these off over here. Oh no, I did. All right, cool. So did those. I need to kind of clear some of the edge bevel weight. There we go. Oh, accidentally forgot to bevel those. All right, that looks pretty good. So I think we can leave it at around that. The last thing we just need to fix right here is just connect this path, because if we don't, we have an end gun. But more or less, that looks pretty good. I think that's a little bit more clean, definitely a little bit more, I want to say interesting, and not kind of like looking like it was cutting into itself or pushing into itself. So that's pretty good. I think we can leave that for there now. So over here, what we can do is we can start fixing this little panel right here. And what I want to start with is just kind of flattening this out because right now, that, mm, no, that doesn't look good. <laughs> so I'm going to just press S to scale, Y and zero. So it all kind of flattens out right in the middle. What I want to do here I want to kind of establish where I'm going to make my quads, because right now we don't have any. So I have to kind of make some up as I'm going. I think that's about good, actually. Let's just go in and let's start making our selections so that we can begin using these for beveling. There we go. And oh, so I got something in my eye. <laughs> and there we go. So now we just need to fix a few of these things. So obviously right here we kind of have like a little kind of kernel, kind of like kind of a little thing coming out. But that's because we just didn't have the loop right here finished with our bevel weight. So there we go. And then just to kind of push this a little further to make it kind of not really pop, but just kind of to help with the shape. I'm going to scale this in to around there. Grab these two. Scale these in to around there. And just kind of line it up in the middle. There we go. Let me just move this in a little bit more. There we go. So just to kind of help it um, shape a little different, shape a little better. And there we go. So now we got the top of the head done and we can move on to working on the other parts here. So what I'm going to start doing is just kind of applying the same thing on these pieces. And in fact, I'll join these and start basically 
cutting into areas to make the pieces that we'll be working on. Okay, there we go. All right, so let's apply a mirror to this one. All right, these also have a mirror. Let's combine all those together. And let's just do the same kind of thing. Let's just add a bevel. Let's put the angle to weight. To like 0.01, that should be fine. And then from there, we can get started on smoothing it out with the subdivision, a subdivision surface. Sorry. Let's increase that to three. And let's kind of decide where we want to put our bevels. That's pretty good. Okay, let me smooth this out. All right, there we go, that was looking better. So, I think from here, you can add a bevel right there. Add it there, right there. Oh, that looks nice. Yeah, so that's kind of the shape I wanted to get. All right. And then let's just kind of poke these faces here. There we go. And last but not least, and cut that there. And I'm going to start just beveling some of these out so we got some sharp corners going on here. Ooh, that looks nice. And there we go. That looks really nice. Let me take a look at this really quick, because I kind of want this to be a little sharper, but... Hmm. I think what I can do is just add another support loop right around... Say there. Maybe the other side, too. Oh, uh, it's at the angle. So it's too smooth of an angle to kind of get this hard kind of crease that we're trying to go for. Eh, that's fine. Either way, you'll kind of have things where you need to kind of change the angles, and I like the shape of this now, so I don't think I really want to change it too much. Now, we did the top part. Let's start working on the jaw right here. But before I get into that, let me work on the inside. Let's add a subdivision surface, put it to three. I think it's about good. Let's smooth that out a little. And I'm just going to start deleting some of these faces because we don't technically need them. So I don't think I'm going to keep them. Okay, there we go. That kind of took care of that. So, I think from there, we can start working on the actual faceplate. So, let's do the same thing. Let's add a subdivision surface. However, this time, we kind of have to work on both sides because we did make this a little bit unique right here. So just keep that in mind. And you'll need to apply some subdivision surfaces and some bevels or creases on these pieces that you have here. Because unfortunately, a lot of this needs to kind of have a bit of work done on it. But that's fine because we're taking our time with this. And I like doing all this work to have some nice render of an object. I honestly, it's one of my favorite things to do. I can spend hours upon hours of modeling something and just working on it and making sure it looks nice and good. And ah, oh, when it's finished, man, it's gonna look super awesome. You know what, I'm going to control Z all this, just so I can grab all three of these 
right here, and then do the same thing. So I'm going to grab them, bevel, and then add a subdivision surface. One, two, three. Oh, that's a little too much. Let's grab that one right there. Let's go in here. Let's take a look at this. I'm already liking some of the shapes that we have just from adding the subdivision modifier. Honestly, some of these are actually looking pretty good. So I think what we can do from here is just grabbing some of these. Let's go into face mode. And I'm just going to bevel some of these. I'm going to do that again. There we go. Let's see. Some of the shapes, yeah, some of the shapes we already have worked on are helping the sh like the overall look of this so that's why it's looking good but i think we'll go in and add just some more bevel modifier and let's take a look mm. <laughs> there's our problem so we had worked on this but we never went and just connected all the paths together so we'll need to do that right now but i'm thinking instead of taking a long time to cut into each piece and um, make every connection. I'm just going to go over here, go to face, and triangulate faces. So this isn't going to fix all our problems, but it'll kind of take care of a lot of the work that we need to do right now. Let me take a look at this really quick. Okay. Okay, let's bevel this. Let's change this to weight 0 0.01. Yeah, so here we have a little bit of a problem with our triangulation. It's not a bad thing. It's just we have to kind of work on it and make sure that it actually looks good. And instead of just relying on the triangulation that we added. But it's a good start. So, you know, if you're getting a hard time trying to get your triangles to look right, um, go ahead and just triangulate it to start and then clean it up when you're going along. Because there's already a few things here I want to fix. But I'm going to add these modifiers first and then fix it afterward. Because... It did all the work of triangulating for us so that we can just kind of fix it later instead of having to do it all by hand. Okay. Let's frame this selection. There we go. And let me just kind of look in here really quick. Let's bevel that. This is a little bit sharper. Let's see, how does that look? I was kind of hoping that this piece right here would kind of crease a little, but it doesn't look like it. I might have to go in here ourselves. Yeah, that looks looking real nice now. All right, there we go. 
Let me make sure everything's selected. All right, that looks pretty good. Hmm. On one hand, it's a good thing that we had already worked so much on this so that we don't have to do too much work. But the other problem we have, oh, clearly this as well. <laughs> Let's just triangulate these faces here. Let's go ahead and let's use triangulate faces one more time. All right, almost done. Oh, okay, for a second in there, I thought the selection got stuck. All right. Well, let's see. Let's frame this selection. Hmm. Okay, so that's all taken care of. Now we can focus more on this part right here. So there's already a few things I see. We don't need bevels right here because they're not doing anything. But more importantly, we can bevel some pieces inside. There we go. And nice. It's already kind of clearing up some of the Apology. In fact, maybe we can just kind of leave that for now. Let's just triangulate these faces first before we move on. There we go. Now we need to fix this part up a little bit. How do we fix this? How do we fix this? Let me take a look real quick. I'm going to connect that right there because that's kind of going nowhere. Ah, okay. Hmm, I don't need that one either. So, I think what we can do really quick is just clean up the rest that we have right here. I'm looking at the one down here. I just want to make sure that's nice and clean before I move on. But everything else is looking pretty good. I just want to fix this right here. So let me take a look at this. Hmm, I know what we can do. So let's just connect this over to here. With J. And there we are. So sometimes just a, a simple solution is probably the best solution instead of trying to make something intricate. Now, that's done. Everything is looking good. And everything should be connected so there's no end guns here. I think we're ready to move on from here.
Let me just do one thing really quick, and I'm gonna just switch to a circle select. I'm gonna grab all these right here. And I'm just gonna have them selected. Let's go all the way around there. All right, so let's grab these. Okay, with that done, let's go to face. Try squads. See if that fix anything. Eh, well, <laughs> it didn't really do anything, but that's fine. We'll just go in here and just kind of fix some of these quads. Because we technically don't need them. All right, let's just take a look at this really quick. I'm going to connect this here. I'm just going to connect this here as well. I kind of like them to kind of follow the same flow. Um, And you know what? Let's just call that done. Let's go in here really quick. Let's go over here. And then let's just add edge bevel weight. Hmm. You know what? Let's undo that really quick. And let's just increase this slightly. Hmm. You know what? Let's just do this one right here. I thought the the kind of like incremental increase was gonna help, but that's fine. So let's just keep the outside sharp, uh, this outside smooth and the inside sharp, just so it has kind of a nice distinction right there. And I think with that, that looks pretty good. Let's go down here really quick, and let's do the same thing, basically. Let's just add a... Actually, this is all done. <laughs> we did this earlier, so we don't actually have to add anymore. Um, let's just go into this one instead. Let's apply a bevel. And then a subdivision surface. Let's increase that. Let's bring this to 0 0.05. And let's bring it back to 0 0.1. All right. So. Now we're almost done. Let's just finish this up. And let's add one more bevel and a subdivision surface. Let's set this up and then this should finish the beveling for our object. Let's go to wait. Let's do it one. Add this to three. And let's just smooth it out while we're at it. All right. Okay, now it's pretty good. Go add a frame select. All right, there we go. So I'm just going to kind of fix this right there. Sharpen up the kind of shape. The same right there. There we go. There we go, that looks really nice. So let's just add some more bevels. 
right around here. You know what? Let's go ahead and try this. See what this look does. Ooh, that looks really nice. I like that. That looks really good, actually. Ooh, that looks really nice. Let's go over here. And let's go in and add some bevels right here and here. Okay. Let's just go ahead and select this one right here and just apply the bevel. Yeah, let's just do that. There we go. And there we go. We're doing pretty good right here, actually. Ah, there we go. Missed one. I knew that was a little odd. Okay. And from here, we just need to fix the back right here, and then I'll get back to kind of whatever that is. Let's go in here. All right, let's go there. Double those. Let's take a look at this really quick. That looks pretty good. I think we can fix this right here. Go to View, Frame Select. And let's go here. Let's kind of move these out a little bit. Not too much. All right. Now, let's just go in here and let's just see what this is. Ah, I see. We have a face in here. Yep. Let's just delete that. And there we go. And let's just go in here. Hmm. Let's just go ahead and triangulate these faces. There we go. Okay. There we go. You know what? I kind of want to take this out instead. And let's go in here. Let's just kind of fix this to angle it a little bit more like the shape right there. And I think that takes care of that. So, there we go. Wow, that was looking real nice now. If anything, we can come in here. Kind of fix these pieces. All right. 
and let's just go ahead and also bevel this. Oh, okay. So we accidentally grabbed all these edges here too, but we don't need them. All right, there we go. There we go. All right, that's nice and clean. So that basically takes care of all the kind of high poly editing that I wanted to show you guys. So now when we look at it, if we to if we were to say take this into a rendered view, and let's just say we add a light, put it to a point light, and let's just increase the yeah let's increase the glow of that. As you can tell, now we have a really nice looking render here. Obviously, we need to put some more work in, but you know you get the idea. So let's just say we kind of do this. And then bring another one over here. And there we go. So, I mean, we're just kind of making it look really nice. But well, that'll kind of be for another video. Let's leave the lighting like that, just as it is. And it's seriously just a very basic light. Um, the watt is, let's put it to 500. And because we duplicated these two from this one, when we change this one at any point, it'll just kind of change the rest. So let's just leave that at that. Um, I wouldn't go any further because we'll kind of talk about lighting in another part. But yeah, there we go. So we modeled a really high detail looking piece. And in the next video, I'll just add a couple of materials just to kind of help it kind of look a little bit even more interesting. And we'll go from there. So thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next video.